Hi, Storytime friends. It's time to read another book together. I'm so glad you're joining me, and so is Graham Cracker. He loves all these books we're reading. I'm gonna put Graham Cracker right here so he can see. Today's book is called Stars Above Us. It's written by Jeffrey Norman. Amanda's father had read her his story. He had tucked her in and given her a kiss. He was about to turn off the light when Amanda said, I don't want to go to sleep. Why not? Daddy asked. I'm afraid of the dark. Daddy reached down and hugged her and then picked her up in his arms. He felt big and strong. The dark, Daddy said, there's nothing to be afraid of. But scary things live in the dark. No, wonderful, fun things live in the dark. Let's go look for some. When they were outside, Daddy said, look all around you and tell me what you see. Fireflies, said Amanda. There were lots of them blinking in the air like tiny lanterns, off and on, glowing yellow spots in the dark. Are they scary? No, said Amanda. They're not scary, they're fun. Then Daddy pointed to some stars and told her they were called the Big Dipper. And he showed her how they pointed to another star, one that looked especially big and bright. That's the North Star and it is always in the same place in the sky. Her dad said, it's a special star. Amanda looked all around the sky at all of the stars, so many of them, and some of them were twinkling like little fireflies. Stars are beautiful, said Amanda. Amanda and Daddy watched the fireflies and the stars and listened to the crickets. Are the crickets scary? asked Daddy. No, they sound nice. It's night music. And then it was time to go back inside. But my room is still dark and scary, Amanda said. It doesn't have stars and fireflies. We'll fix that, Daddy said. The next day, Daddy came home carrying a bag. He said it was a bag full of stars, beautiful stars for Amanda. There's just paper and paste and paint and stuff. There aren't any stars in here, Amanda said when she looked in the bag. Not yet, Daddy said. Amanda and her mom and dad drew stars on the paper and cut them out. Soon there were lots of paper stars in the middle of the table. Now let's paint them with this, Daddy said. It was special paint that would glow in the dark, he explained. Then we'll paste them on your ceiling, said Daddy. Amanda couldn't wait for it to get dark. At bedtime, Daddy turned off the light and said, what do you think? Amanda looked up at the ceiling and said, it's like being outside and looking up into the sky. And is it scary? No, it isn't. I love it. See that star, Daddy said, and pointed to the biggest one? That's the North Star, like the one we saw together outside. You can see it from anywhere in the world. And when I'm away, you can look at it and think of me. It will be our star. Will you be gone a long time, Amanda asked. Yes. And when I get home, you'll be so much bigger and you can tell me about everything that happened while I was away. Amanda hugged, hugged her dad. She already missed him. On the last day before he went away, Amanda's daddy said, I have another surprise for you. What is it? Close your eyes, he said. Amanda did and when she opened them, her daddy was holding a puppy. I love 
him, Amanda said. What's his name? I thought we'd call him Bear. That's another name for the Big Dipper. The stars I showed you. Every night after her daddy went away, Amanda would look at the Big Dipper and North Star and think of him. That's our star bear, she would say. Yours, mine, and daddy's. Amanda, her mother, said one day, guess who's calling? When Amanda picked up the phone, her dad said, how's my girl? She was so excited, she almost couldn't talk. Are you coming home today, daddy? Amanda said, not today, daddy said, soon though. And you know what? What? It's night where I'm at, where I am, on the other side of the world. And I'm looking up at our star and thinking about you. I want you to come home, Amanda said. I will, soon, said Daddy. And I want you to do something for me. What? When you go to bed tonight, look up at our star and make a wish. Make a wish for me to come home soon. I will. Amanda and her mom sat on the bed. They were very close so Amanda could comb her mother's hair. Are you scared for daddy, Amanda said. Yes, sweetie, mommy said, he's so far away. Is it dangerous where he is? Yeah, it is, but your dad is a brave man. One day when they were on a walk with Bear, Amanda's mom said, Daddy's going to be surprised when he sees how big Bear has gotten, and you too. I know, Amanda said, and I want to have another surprise ready for him. What kind of surprise? Amanda told her. That's wonderful, Mommy said. I will help you. You see how much bigger the puppy Bear has gotten? Wow. The day finally came. Amanda and her mother drove to the airport to meet her dad. She was so happy when she saw him with the other soldiers. Daddy hugged them both and then he picked Amanda up and said, see, you must have wished on our star because here I am, home. I did wish, Amanda said, every night. And guess what? What? I have a surprise for you when we get home. That night, they all had dinner together. It had been a long, long time since they had done this. I'm so glad to be home, Daddy said. But where is my surprise? I'll show you, Amanda said. But first, you have to close your eyes. And when her dad had closed his eyes, Amanda held his hand and led the way upstairs and into her room. She turned out the lights and then said, Okay, now open your eyes. Her dad opened his eyes and saw that there were more stars on the ceiling and a moon and comets too. Amanda and her mom had made them and they had made fireflies too. Out of yarn they painted with the special paint. They hung them from the ceiling with pieces of thread. The room was full of glowing happy things just like outside. It's beautiful, Daddy said. What a great surprise. Later that night, Amanda woke up. It was still dark. The crickets were still singing and the stars and the moon and the comets glowed on the ceiling. She looked at them and then out at the real sky and the special star. Thank you, she said to the North Star. Then she went back to sleep. Her dad was home. Sometimes one of our parents or grandparents or loved ones goes away for a little bit of time and we miss them. Your parent might not go away in the military for a long time like Amanda, but even on a business trip or a vacation. And when they come home, it's so great to see them. Special stars in your room 
whether you just place them on your dresser or your nightstand, or you can hang them on your ceiling, are a fun way to think about remembering those that we love. If you want glow-in-the-dark stars, I won't send you paper and paint to make them, but I can send you some that are already made that are plastic. If you'd like some glow-in-the-dark stars, I'd love to send you some. So send me an email. My email is shalom at riverterrace.org and your parents can find that. And send me an email and tell me that you would like to have glow-in-the-dark stars and I would love to send you some. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Bye-bye.